Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke if you're new here and this is going to be a morning routine for work. I'm going to take you through me waking up. I woke up a little bit extra early today to film this video, but normally I wake up around 6 a.m. and get ready for work so that I can leave by 7, 10, 7, 15. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you like morning routines and subscribe to my channel if you're new. I post work week in my life videos, work videos, um, videos about balancing my life. I just recently moved to Boston and I'm loving it here and I would love you guys to stick around. So without further ado, enjoy the video. people it is 5 57 now it's not even six and i'm going to get ready for the day i'm just standing here in this mirror in my robe let's just get started in the morning i make my bed i drink my coffee now and then i start doing my skincare it's a monday so we're just gonna take things at whatever pace it is Every Monday I listen to Girls Gotta Eat. Every Tuesday I listen to Skinny Confidential. And then I have a few other podcasts I like throughout the week, but really Monday, Tuesday are the big ones for me. And it's really nice because it, like, it gets me out of bed because I have something to listen to. So I actually pick out my outfit every night the night before work so that I don't stress about it. This is a huge tip I have if you don't do this, something you gotta do. And of course, sometimes when I try it on, you know, it doesn't work or whatever. But actually, I started doing this thing where on this back like rack of my closet, I put together a few potential outfits for the week. Um, this is gonna be my outfit of the day. I'm not really sure what shirt I'll wear. Um, I like this leopard moment, but I'm not sure if it's going to be too much for right now. And then these pants from Maritzia. Um, and then I just have some other, like, possible outfit ideas for the week, like this light blue sweater and these flare jeans. I have this really cute skirt from Topshop and maybe this top. So, I don't know, I just put together some potential uh, fit ideas over here on this wall. It's just something new I'm trying out, and it seems to be kind of working. Because, like, I, I can plan, like, my outfit then for tomorrow's work tonight and stuff like that but at the same time i don't know like it's just nice to have outfit ideas prepped so let's take this out the order of me like getting dressed is weird though like today i'm gonna put on my makeup first i don't have to do my hair since it's already done and just up right now and i just showered but like didn't wash my hair so i'm actually gonna wait to get dressed until very last and just stay in my comfy robe until then this robe is from dormify this is Nama stay in bed on the back. I've had it for like forever. And the bed is all made, super tidy. And then we have to <laughs> go to this mess of a vanity. If I'm not listening to a podcast or something while I'm getting ready, usually I'll play a YouTube video or something. I like to consume some sort of content while I'm getting ready because it's like my time and that's just what I like to do. I'm putting on some concealer right now, but I realized that I never really talk about what products I use day to day for work. I also have to make sure that I don't slip open here <laughs> i'm also sipping on my coffee too i like to make it before a shower if i do body shower in the morning because i like to let it cool i don't like it like super hot i like it more like slightly above room temperature you know i also self tan so i have a little bit of that on my nose that i have to cover up so i've actually been skipping like 
foundation foundation altogether for the past few weeks but if i were to do foundation for work um just because i don't know i like to wear a full face of makeup for work that's obviously optional not everybody wants to do that but i like that because when i look at my face halfway through the day or at like 2 3 p.m I want to feel good about myself and to me feeling good about myself is having my makeup done and looking complete And I know that's not the same for everybody and honestly if my skin was in let's just say like a really really great state I might not feel that way But just with like my current state of like how everything is that's what I like to do And I don't think there should be like judgment surrounding like if you wear makeup to work if you don't there's plenty of people who do either so Regardless, these two guys are my go-to's for foundation. This is the it CC cream uh, regular and then this is the it matte and my skin gets kind of oily throughout the day So I've been really leaning towards the matte one, but this one gives it a nice glow if you don't get super oily um, It's pretty good, but recently I've just been doing concealer. So I'll do the Tarte uh, Shape tape concealer under my eyes because it's really brightening and then I'll use the Fenty concealer um, To spot conceal like blemishes redness all that stuff and then I'll go on top of everything with my all over like powder foundation which is just max studio fix which is just like a pressed powder i don't really have much left but this one there too it's just like an all over powder and i'll just go in with like a brush and dust that everywhere and then i do hourglass ambient light powder as kind of like a highlight like on my cheeks down the nose um and then these two guys too Two face chocolate bronzer all over my face too this is especially good if i self tan or if i got a spray tan or something because it makes my neck and my body match and then tarte blush in i don't know how to say that i really just don't want to mess that up but i'll just like sweep a little bit of that on the cheeks and a few more things i switch it up like every day you know it's not every day is the same situations Fenty Beauty uh, Press Powder. I'll do this under my eyes to set my under eye makeup. Really good. I just have it in the shade Banana. This is the Pro Filter Loose Powder. Obsessed with this. So good. And then um, Urban Decay Sin Eyeshadow. This is like, I just use one eyeshadow and I just put this all over my lid. And it looks like super pretty and complete. And then <laughs> a few more things. I use Glossier Lash Slick. This is just a waterproof mascara. Um, I've been growing my lashes out with a lash serum. This is called Babe Lash. So I put this on every night before I go to bed and it's been really helping with getting my lashes long again. I also do it a little bit on my eyebrows and I feel like it works for that really well too. And then, um, and then I use the Lash Slick and then I do Glossier Boy Brow. Whew, that was a lot of stuff. My makeup routine isn't that complicated. I honestly like doing makeup. Like I look forward to sitting down and doing it in the morning. I know not everybody is that way. It's probably my favorite part of my routine at the moment. So that's why I like doing it. While I'm getting ready for work, I wanted to talk to you guys also about something. This is something that it's often talked about online. I feel like my friends at work kind of talk about it sometimes. And it's kind of the idea of having multiple gigs going on. Like right now I'm getting ready to go to my eight to five job, but I also obviously do do like YouTube and social media and all that stuff on the side, um, which I'm so blessed to have these platforms. And like, honestly, to afford the lifestyle that I want and like things of that sort, like that's, I wouldn't be able to afford it without having multiple forms of income. And I know that when I was in college and stuff, I had a lot of friends that financially um, had to save to do certain things or couldn't afford to do certain things because they didn't have a job or whatnot. And I totally could understand that stress. That's like a huge level of stress. I'm personally someone who's always worked, like I've worked since high school and stuff. Um, and I really genuinely wish that I knew about care.com sooner. Thank you care.com for sponsoring this video Care.com is the world's largest destination for finding caregiver jobs provides access to millions of jobs across 20 countries A caregiver is actually matched to a job every 20 minutes, which is pretty cool You might have heard of care.com before but it's not just for child care because I know that's not really like my vibe but maybe something else is more suitable for you. They also have pet care senior care home care, babysitting, like I said, nannying, pet sitting and walking, housekeeping, tutoring, and more. There's like a million different things you can do. I think care.com is just the coolest thing because you can set your own schedule. Honestly, I've talked to people at work and they're like, you know, the income at work just isn't cutting it. Like, I think I'm gonna have to pick something up on the weekends. And this is like the perfect thing to do that because you can create your own schedule. You can do it on your own time. You know, you don't have to overwork yourself if you don't want to, but if you are looking for something more full-time, this could be a solution for that too. 
I know there's a lot of people in this world who don't want to work for someone else. They want to, you know, be on their own time, be in their own schedule, be in their own terms. And I just see this as such an amazing resource for that. And then I also see it as an amazing resource for those people who want to pick up some gigs on the side, like a side hustle. I am such a proponent of like not having all of your eggs in one basket, like diversifying yourself and like having multiple income streams. And this is amazing for that. You find local jobs that work for you, like I said, full time, part time, anytime. You could literally create your own schedule. I know a few people that have personally used care.com and they have like amazing, amazing stories. Like I said, this is something that I would totally be using um, if I, you know, had the time for it at this point because I just think it's really cool to have um, your income coming from different places. And it's actually free to join. You don't have to like pay or anything like that. Uh, so you can just go to care.com slash Brooke and sign up to find jobs that fit your life. It's super easy. I highly recommend it. Like I said, had some friends that have had some pretty dope experiences with it and I think that you guys will really enjoy it and if you do use care.com let me know in the comments or if you have any sort of like side hustle or uh, have multiple streams of income in any way let me know all right I'm gonna continue getting ready I feel like I really need to focus now because it's already 6:25, and I've been talking to the camera for too long so I need to kind of sit down and do my makeup Okay, I'm getting dressed. I'm like basically naked right now, but I'm putting on native deodorant. I've been using the coconut and vanilla scented one, and it's so good. I also have this one, though, that is cucumber and mint that I want to try, but I've been really using this one. Dressed for the day. Um, normally, this is the point where I would do my hair. I normally just touch it up in the morning. It's rare that I'm actually like having to like do my hair because I normally prep. But if I were to be doing my hair, that would be right now. I got it done at Dry Bar on like Saturday. I mean, I probably could do some dry shampoo or some stuff at the top, but I really don't want to mess with it too much. And it just has like a little natural wave, so it's fine. But yeah, I would just go in and either add some curls or straighten it or whatever. Normally I straighten my hair for work just to keep it nice and tame. It's close to seven right now. I'm gonna brush my teeth. I use this is the toothpaste I use. It's the Radiant Optic White. I've been using it forever. If you guys know me, um, you know this is the toothpaste. I've used a few other ones and I always go back to this one. It just keeps keeps them so white and I use an electric toothbrush. This is from Costco, but it's the Philips Sonicare. And then I just get replacement heads from Amazon. I love electric toothbrushes. Honestly, I just feel like they do the job and all I have to do is just sit there and do my thing. And then I go on top sometimes. I'll do it like once a day. So I'll either do it in the morning or at night. And I use this Colgate Optic White mouthwash. And I didn't, I don't think I used it last night. So I'll probably use it today. Um, but that's how I keep my teeth white. I don't have to do any like whitening treatments or anything really. Um, it's just that, which is really nice. And sometimes they get a little tingly um, from using these whitening products. So I definitely know that they're working. Oh, also I put on my deodorant, but I forgot perfume. I use Glossier U Perfume right now. I really, really like it. Um, I've been getting a good bit of compliments on it, so I feel like it must smell pretty decent. Back it up. Alrighty, this is the outfit of the day. Um, what we're working with, the top is from Forever 21 a while ago, but I actually really, really like it. I really want to get more similar, um, but I just placed a bunch of online orders from like ASOS and stuff like that. So I feel like I have some things coming in that are similar, but I just, I think the stripes are actually really flattering. And it's like blousey without being like a button down, which is nice because I'd wear too many button downs to work. Then these pants are from Aritzia. They were definitely a little pricey, but so worth the investment. I think that they are incredibly flattering, but they're also like comfy, but they're also a nice material. So I just like the way that they look. Cute. And then my Gucci loafers that I got before I started work and I've been wearing them probably three to four days a week. So even if you don't wanna get the Gucci ones, get a pair of black loafers, you won't regret it. I love the way the light comes in the morning. It's seven o'clock right now. I really wanna bring a sweater to work. I do have a blanket at my desk because that's what you do in corporate because it's so cold and they like to blast the AC for some reason. But I am going to bring this oversized sweater from J. Crew just so that I can have um, if I get cold. I think I have all the lights off in here. I make sure that the lights are off and I raise the temperature before I leave my house. That's very essential to me. I have a bunch of laundry drying and stuff um, because it is a Monday right now. So yeah, 
I'm going to be packing lunch right now, although this is a very off day for me. I'm not packing lunch because we do have a team lunch today. Um, so we are going out to eat or we're eating in the cafe or something. Uh, but normally I do pack lunch. You can go back and watch any of my work week in my life videos to go and kind of delve into those further. Those have more details of my meals. I usually pack a salad. I've been using salad kits recently or just some kind of bowl situation and making sure that I have snacks throughout the day. But on the snacks situation throughout the day, I am going to be bringing this almond butter bar from Trader Joe's, I love it. You don't need to tell me the details if these are not nutritionally sound or whatnot because I just like the taste. And then I do this fruit leather bar from Trader Joe's. I'm going to grab a banana. I would prefer for these to be a little more brown, but this is what I'll eat like in like, like on the way to work probably. And then I have my snacks and then I'll eat lunch out with my work people. In terms of my work bag, um, a little messy in here, but I always bring my day designer agenda. Uh, this is more for personal use, but like if I think of things for my to-do list throughout the day, I'll jot them on here. I don't really use it for work, but like I block off the time that I am working. And then at the bottom, it's very messy. I have a lot of tampons. I have some eye drops, a lot of lip products um, that I use throughout the day. I'll put some on right now. Gum, I'm always reaching for gum when I'm at work. AirPods, I love to plug in when I'm doing just like administrative computer stuff. Um, a lot of my job requires phone calls, so I can't listen to these all the time, but a lot of the time find me plugged in. Altoids, like I said, obsessed with mints and stuff like that. These sunglasses are my current obsession. They are the 11th hour, but these are the like hangover edition. They're like the really, really big obnoxious ones. I know they're not everybody's cup of tea, but I personally like them. And then I do bring another Mac Studio Fix as a touch-up powder because I do get a little greasy throughout the day, whatever. I just like to use this. Um, and then my favorite lip gloss is the Fenty Beauty lip gloss. If I'm not just using like lip balm, always carry Advil with me too. And that's pretty much like the work bag essentials. I'm gonna toss all this stuff in there. And then I'm, I've been like going back and forth between two hydro flasks right now, but I just filled this up with ice and water and then I'll refill it at the office throughout the day. I actually put out this tumbler um, for coffee but i honestly don't really want coffee today because i drank the hot one i'm just like not in the mood for any more so instead of that i'm going to reach into here and grab a celsius drink which is just an energy drink that i can stick in the fridge at work and drink later if i were to do iced coffee i would do the trader joe's cold brew concentrate and just pour it over ice and it's so well, it's not the concentrate i lied this is just the regular cold brew um ready to pour and i love that one it's so yummy if I were eating a breakfast here, I might start taking vitamins and stuff. I don't really recommend vitamins. I like switch on and off. Sometimes I'll do care of, sometimes I'll do these. I've been doing the Ollie women's multi, but I'll probably just eat them with dinner tonight or like take them with dinner because I like to take them with food. And honestly, with all of that, I'm out the door. Um, I really don't have a hand for you to vlog, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching this morning routine. If you watch my vlogs, you kind of get a glimpse of it every day, but it's literally just getting ready for the day. It's nothing special, nothing productive. I don't have the best habits. I check my phone in the morning, which is not the best. I, like I know I'm working on all my habits and honestly, I'm working on waking up even earlier because I like to have time in the morning. I don't like to feel rushed. I don't like to feel running out the door, forgetting things like no one likes that. So I'm working on everything. If you guys have any tips for waking up early, um, it's not even waking up early, that's the problem. If you have any tips for maximizing your morning routine for work or for whatever, it may be, leave it down below. Thanks again to care.com for sponsoring this video. I've worked with them before and I'm so excited to be working with them again. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching this. I love you so much and I will talk to you all in my next video super soon. Bye.